sorry, I'm watching this thing on Anna Winter, who I love, and I, I didn't know that it was this on, on Netflix, so I'm just like, I think she, who's like worked with it, and she is exhausted because she's continually working hard, and because she works so professionally. <laughs> I think I read up on her one day and how she was like into journalism and all that. I was just like, wow. It's technically, she does run a magazine. She's talking about fashion right now. Sorry, I'm eating something because I'm starving. And it's like Sunday, but I had to work today instead of yesterday. So I'm just so tired. I think the film was done like 10 years ago. I love how she uses like a flip phone. Not a smartphone. She's the editor in chief of Vogue. Although I haven't read Vogue magazine for a little while now. Just because they have stupid people on the, on the cover. Well, we're done with them. I guess you have to be proud for what you like, you know, put out there. And she just puts out, which is a world famous magazine where they have like spin offs of the same magazine in like places all over the world. I bet this is because that movie, Devil Wears Prada, came out, and so they wanted to show this is how she actually is. It actually looks like her real office. This is like when I was in college. Bear away. Okay. I ate that so fast. I got my IKEA catalog and I was just like, oh my god, I've died too many times. I better check my phone actually. No, oh, I didn't. I just dropped it somewhere and I told someone to call them back and I didn't. Because I've been so busy. I want to like pass out like crazy. Yeah. I kept those big, big headphones in there. I don't have another super huge throne in there to use. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to crunch like that. Oh shit, this is a thing. Crystal tea flow. I just got home and now I'm watching thing on Anna Winter and like I love her hairdo down. 
because she's so recognizable, she can't change her hair. I'm so skinny. I have skinny envy. <laughs> Only for five seconds. I watched this thing about, hey, I watched this um, documentary in Paris about this lady. She's not even a model. And she was like so skinny, unbelievably skinny. I'll see if I can find it because it was so shocking. She was like, oh, it's time for me to have breakfast. So she goes into the kitchen and she gets one of those big stirring mixing bowls, like the big metal one. And she cuts up a bunch of cucumbers and she puts some salt on them and she like down and then she eats it. And that was her breakfast from cucumbers. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh because it's really sad. It was like, you're obviously like starving yourself. But yeah, it was weird. It was like this thing in French on like uh, TV5, which is like European television. I don't think it was like kind of just show that some people are just like, they're out of it. They don't even see that they're super skinny to begin with. Hey, Pav Gaming. Hey, Pav Gaming. Hi, Pav. Oh my gosh, I gotta do my makeup. I just got home and I don't want to like, you know, make my eyes even red. But I wish I could go like that and rub my eyes. They're so tired. I still have like three stories to write, I think it is. So I'm just like, oh. For a second there, I thought I signed in under guys. I was just like, huh? <laughs> oh my gosh. So yeah, like this is... I'm watching them walk around in the studio with their black jackets and they're like... They're the models. Literally in French, um, model, the word is actually um, mannequin. That's what it means. It means you're a mannequin. Like, inanimate object. <laughs> oh, what the hell? Somebody else is trying to reach me. Not all the dicks. Stop playing with me. I went to this lady's mom and dad's birthday today, which is crazy. And the crazy part about it is, like, I realize that people are living longer and longer every day. But this lady didn't even look like, like she was 90 years old. Like, you're almost 100. You're 10 years from 100 years old. You expect someone to look a certain age, right? She looked like she could be maybe 75. No way that she could be 90. I was like, are you sure you're really 90? You're not just 75 pretending to be 90. <laughs> she was, like, and her husband was, like, a real jokester, too. I think it's because people are really, like, happy, I guess. They're like happy, and the happiness and laughter makes you live longer, I think. Anyhow, it was really interesting. But that's not the super, super interesting thing. I went to like a uh, triathlon today and took pictures. So, excuse me, I'm gonna try to find some of these pictures. It was really cute. They put like a thing on her head. And... So, this is the picture I'm gonna use in the paper of somebody finishing at the finish line. It was like the women's triathlon, so everybody's a woman in it. I think it's also because like some people are afraid. Well, not afraid, but it's less intimidating if you have to like compete against men. I mean, the triathlon you're not like competing against people. You're actually like competing against yourself. You're timing yourself and all that. But I think it is less kind of frightening if it's your first triathlon to have other people like you around. Like other people who are new or whatever at running. These were all the medals. Like, oh, that looked cool. Table full of medals. And yeah, there's a ton of triathlons in this town. It's like a running town. And here's this girl. She was like, Do you want me to jump? And I was like, Yes, jump. It was really cool. Yeah, what I wanted to show you is the video in the pool. And actually, do a quick little thing. But I think I'm going to put it on our site. I'm not going to put it on like my personal site. So this is the pool right before the beginning and people are just getting in to start themselves and all that. But there's here. That's, you know, people getting started to do the triathlon and get in the pool and all that. So 
That was really cool, actually. I like taking water pictures, really, like, when you get to go close up and get, like, really close to the water edge, because then you can see the water skimming over their face. Really awesome picture. I did this lens, actually. I just used this lens for the 100-year-old, or excuse me, 90-year-old ladies party. It's a portrait lens. That's the only reason why I used it, because portrait lenses are for taking pictures of portraits of people. So, yeah. It's a 50 millimeter lens, and it's a Nikon lens, as you can see from the lens cap. And like I said, I don't usually keep the lens cap on, but I just took it out of the bag a second ago. And I turn this off of all the lenses that I use and not lens caps because, like, like I put it in the bag because sometimes, like, dirt or whatever can get in the bag, and if things aren't tightly packed, then it means that, you know, they could scratch each other, so that's why I put a lens cap on in the bag. Here, I'm going to go to my YouTube channel. I put up a new video last night, and it was, like, how to clean your camera, but it sucks. Like, for some reason, the camera wasn't focused enough, and so, it, I don't know, at least I think it sucked. Here. So that's the link to my YouTube channel, and it's, like, the, the first video on, like, the returning page or whatever. So, hopefully, tonight, I'm going to try out and talk about makeup because I got my MAC makeup. Oh, I should show you guys. So, I threw away the big box, but I kept the bag. So I went to the MAC yesterday, and I got two of them, actually. One for my mom. But, um, they were $3 just for, like, this one bag. So even though it's, like, excuse me, kind of expensive for makeup, I still get MAC makeup. Oh, this is my makeup box. <laughs> Look at that. Look at how big it is. It doesn't even fit on camera. Okay. <laughs> I have a feeling that I'm going to be really, really slow today. So, I'm not trying to. Well, I was kind of cold a second there, and now I'm like really, really warm. I'm not working out tonight because I worked out for six days. So, six days is enough. I think you can have like a rest day in between. Oh, she's finally getting back to me. Called me while at work. I was like, why is everybody calling me at work? <laughs> this person's like, what are you up to? I'm like, oh, I'm just home. And then they go, oh, I'm at home having a glass of wine. I guess that's what I do every day, too, so, I don't know. Oh, well, sorry, Basil got... <laughs> oh my god, I don't even know how long I'm going to talk for today. I might do two broadcasts. I've been totally ignoring the winter um, league, even though I really like it. They were just holding up a big thing of pink panties and underwear, and it was, like, literally a little wrap. And then, oh my god. Wow. He has the most horrible hair. I mean, I don't have great hair. I'm so overtired. It's not shiny anymore, like the third day of it looking like this. And then I'm gonna have a shower and it's gonna shrink up and turn into curls, but yeah. I just can't wait for my hair to grow back in. Down to here, it would be amazing. Oh, but yeah, I was showing you guys the makeup bag. I want to actually put like black eyeliner around my eyes. You can see my bag so bad today. But yeah, this is my super huge makeup bag. This is me opening my super huge bag here. Hold on. Can you see it? There. <laughs> I think I can close there. There. Hey, sorry, I'm showing everybody. What's your name? Moo Pixu. <laughs> Hey everybody, my super huge makeup bag. As I'm watching Anna Winter. So I'm not gonna pick it up again, but yeah. 
This is the makeup bot in the back. It's like the only makeup that's like actually my dark color. Drugstore makeup in this area is usually like way, way brighter. The first time I went to uh, Vegas and bought makeup, it was like a miracle. <laughs> I was honestly like, oh my God, Walgreens. I'm in Canada, so there is no Walgreens. There's Walmarts, but no Walgreens. So we went to Walgreens and bought um, Iman makeup, and they don't make Iman makeup in Canada anymore. You have to order it online. We order it by like caseloads because there isn't uh, makeup that's like this color. It's usually like tan makeup for someone who's just got like a thin tan or something from being out in the sun, not like dark brown. <laughs> I felt like I'd gone to heaven and found like makeup heaven. It was amazing. And we bought up like all these, it was hilarious going through customs and like explaining that it's makeup, it's not anything bad, it's just makeup. And they're like, okay. And they're like, why do you have 10 containers of it? It was like, because they don't have it in Canada. And they're like, oh, well, it's under, you know, $10,000, right? I was like, yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine buying $10,000 of makeup? That would be insane. I'm gonna be right back. I just wanna like brush my hair. She looks so weird without glasses. Like sunglasses? I used to have sunglasses like that, but now I know they are anymore. I think I'm actually gonna look for them in a second. Here, right back. I'm back. I just wanted to like rummage through this bag. That's where I had like a bunch of sunglasses, but I had like art supplies and stuff in it too. Anyhow, that's the story about this makeup. It's like $37 just for this one bottle. $37 for something that's gonna last like nothing. But it's the max I bought. But. Oh, yeah, there are a bunch of like art supplies and stuff. So I did this thing. Sorry, I'm not even showing my face. I did this thing that it was like trash your wedding dress picture, and it's on Model Mayhem, so you guys can see. If you like, search for me on Model Mayhem, I'll look for it actually. My Model Mayhem profile, you'll be able to see it. So we like sprayed her dress full of paint and everything, and it looked actually really nice. Way everything, but we use like um, paint that acrylic paints and stuff. It actually looks really nice. I'm just gonna put these down here for a second. I don't know if I'm gonna do something like that again. It's a once in a lifetime thing, and we like painted it like this. What is this? Not for shellac or lacquer. I don't know. I was looking for these sunglasses that I thought I had in here, but I guess not. I have a bunch of these like little bags. We don't have, like I have one that's from Japan. I think I bought this one in Japan. Or lost one. I don't know.
already a good designer who's talking about meeting her for the first time, and he was so scared that his, like, hands were shaking. But I'm asking you for a tail I should put on anyone. So yeah, I was gonna do my makeup, actually, in this broadcast. So, I shouldn't have thrown this one away, but that's, that's foundation studio effects. I'm using tone right now is NW45. Actually, NW47. <laughs> but, like, um, I don't know, it's weird. Um, like, in the summer, my skin is, like, darker. So that's N whatever it is, NW45. As winter comes along, my skin gets lighter, and it's NW47. I've got to get rid of this, but I don't really use color for CoverGirl anymore. But this is just for, like, under the appearance of not having bags who don't sleep properly. <laughs> and I think it also has to do with glasses. Like, it looks worse. Kind of reminds me of the skeleton, you know? But whatever. I'm gonna use this palette. This is a beauty palette. I'm gonna use that today, too. Put some of this on the ground. Like this. this is for like making fake eyelashes. It's creepy. It like gives you extra length on your eyelashes. Look at that. It's like hairy, but it's hair. So I'll try it. There's another one that I really like. I don't think it's one. It's in blue. So, I think I have to throw this one away pretty soon. NARS, it's like one of my favorites. It's starting to get clumpy. So maybe let's not use this one. I was going to use that one. Mm. It's funny, I hate this, and I use it just because I want to get rid of it. Mike Jacobs. Mark Jacobs one. Uh, I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna use Yves Saint Laurent. That one's Paris too. So I'm gonna use that. My dad is like really bored, and so he's been like bothering me a day just to hang out. It's really strange. Let's go. I beat Guitar Hero World to her on expert. Okay, that's cool. Anyways, I'll watch this thing all over again just because I'm totally missing it because of the broadcast. Why is it so annoying? <laughs> Let me just make straight shade again. But he's just like nothing to do. He's retired, so he has nothing to do. He just hangs out. Totally straight. I might use some foundation Tuesday. Just for my neck. There's a primer in here, but I'm not going to use it. I have a contour kit that I'm going to use. Like a translucent powder I'm going to use. I'm going to put a cake of makeup on my face. This is for your eyes, it's from the MAC too. You put it on your eyes before your makeup so like the shadow sticks. It's usually when you have like darker skin it makes it brighter. I'm gonna use that. I don't feel like I need to use this eyelash curler, so I don't think I need to use this. 
They shouldn't even call it an eyelash curler. They tortured with my... Look at that. Just an eyelash curler. When I first saw it, I was like, what the hell is that? Like the tea came out. I don't make difference. It's like nothing to me. And he knows that I'm doing a brand. He deliberately does that. He's staying home all day long. It's like 5.30. To do all that, but he'll still do it because he knows that I hear it. You can probably hear it. I have liquid liner, but I never use it. Maybe I'll try to use it. It shows you how long I've had it. It looks scary. Maybe I'll try to use it. It's just hard to take off. It's so frustrating. There's pink lipstick, so I might use that. That one's the one that's like the eyeliner. Well, eyeliner. I don't know who it's from. This is hourglass on it. It doesn't look like gel, it's more like it was like super dry. A piece of it just broke off. It looks better. I don't want to ruin the whole thing, but my other piece came off. I'm trying to like rub it on my hand. Breaking. That sucks. Maybe I've had it too long. What about it back in the box? Well, here's what I was looking for. It's from the Mac. But I have to like cut it. So I'll use the liquid stuff. The pink line and all that stuff. I don't know why you have to make so many lashes. Back. I don't have to do everything. Hey, sorry, I'm back. I was going to do like my makeup and everything, but I think it's getting too loud down here. <sighs> mm. 
I'm really tired, and I just got home, and I'm gonna have a nap. It's only like 5.30. I'm gonna go to sleep for like two hours or three hours, and then wake up in the middle of the night. Guess what? I don't know. I'm sick of people calling. I'm like really tired. Yeah, I heard you said that you, you beat Guitar Hero. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, okay. Yeah, they probably have a lot of, like, real song songs that have, like, you know, you have to know how to play properly. Just cleaning up my hand now. It takes forever to get this stuff off. That's the only reason why I don't want to use, like, the liquid liner, because it takes forever to get it off. I'm really tempted to give him the finger. It's so annoying. It's still there. It's just gonna come back in a second. And I just have to go upstairs for a minute. And I'm sorry, but I had a high people, high brain. Sorry, I had like, I'm sorry, I'm having a crazy day. So I'm having a cookie, even though I'm eating like really healthy right now and doing my workout. This is my one day off, and so I'm having a cookie. And nobody could stop me from having this cookie. <laughs> nobody. Mmm. -hmm. Hi, FBO Mario. <laughs> Hi, Bray. <laughs> Thank you for becoming a fan. Here, I'll put my YouTube channel in there. I'm seriously, I've worked out for six days in a row. So I deserve this cookie. I'm gonna get on the treadmill tonight for 25 minutes, and maybe that'll, like, burn off this one cookie. I'm gonna do my makeup in a second, but, yeah. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> I want to be able to eat my cookie in peace without someone going, Why are you eating that? That's not healthy for you. Mm. I 
we could find some way to teleport to Canada, then I could give you a cookie. <laughs> If I could have one superpower, what would it be and why? No. I thought maybe being able to be faster than the speed of light or something like that. Just so that I can travel places really fast and not have anybody see me. Or so you could escape if there was like a world apocalypse, you could fly. Two cookies. Does that mean that I have to double the time till 40 minutes on a trip? My god, some of the clothes are really ugly. That'd be cool. I can't even spell anymore. <laughs> I feel like I'm so busy right now and I feel like it's horrible that like people are trying to reach me and I'm, I'm like, I'll be free in an hour, I'm sorry, I'll be free in an hour and I told this person like, I'll be free in four hours, you know. And I still have to do my- <sighs> Yeah, right. <laughs> On YouTube, I want to get up to 50 subscribers. So, and I think I have like 42 right now. Yeah, I have 42 subscribers. Follow me on YouTube, everybody! <laughs> oh, thank you, that's really nice. You can probably hear my phone going off my phone. And then somebody called me the other day and was like, can you please submit this? And I was just like, oh, can't you submit it yourself? <laughs> I wanted to say, can't you do this for yourself? Why are you bothering me? I just want to drink my Gatorade in peace. I'm literally going to pass out in a sec. She's so skinny, too. She's really tall, too. I bet she wears sunglasses to hide her age. It's 
took Annie Leibovitz's pictures. She's having her Starbucks. I swear that movie is based on her. You're ugly and proud? What the heck? <laughs> You're not ugly. so thirsty. I think it is because I'm working out so much and I'm so hungry and so thirsty all the time. I'm just like, oh, I feel like I'm eating everything. And my mom told me that, you know, I was like eating everything in the kitchen. I was like, I'm sorry. Hi, Abdi Razak. And on the broadcast, I told everybody about the photos that I took today. So I'm going to actually just do my makeup talking. <laughs> Sorry, I'm like partially, well, I'm not blind, but, you know, I don't blind, so I can't really answer your questions too quickly. Being like right in their face. It sucks that it's so like greasy against this light. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I might have to use like powders and stuff. I don't like put too much makeup on my face because it made me start to break it actually. Like I was saying, this makeup, because they don't have drugs makeup, that's usually my tone. It's like very little. Sorry for it. Makeup should be like less than fifteen dollars. <laughs> like, why did I say oops on the broadcast? Okay, what is it saying in the chat? Hi. Oh, that's really nice. Official T flow. Hi, Kryptonic. <laughs> Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Sammy up here on you now. I'm really happy now that I'm gonna be like. Um, a captain on you now. I was like, yay! Oh, thank you for being my fan. Thank you for the 50 likes. <laughs> so I'm not going to be able to see you for a second. Yeah, I like the applicator for this thing, but I don't know. I just, I don't like the cover girl because it's weird. <laughs> no? No. Oh don't have makeup that appeals to me like if Beyonce was like the spokesperson for CoverGirl and they had makeup that was like dark like my skin tone I'd be like yay but she's not she's not so nope Now they're talking about how Anna Wintour was the one who came up with the idea of putting celebrities on the cover of big magazines like Vogue. And she's right. They created the supermodels. Like the beast model. Like Naomi Campbell's and Christy Brinkley's and stuff like that. It was Vogue magazine that created those. I wish I could fast forward. <laughs> fast forward putting makeup on. It helps a little bit. It hides my bags under my eyes a little bit. They're not as dark, but you can still tell that I have like bags. I think that's the only thing that really gives away my age, which is really weird. 
Like I said, I met this lady who was like 90 years old today. And she looked like she was in her 70s. She did not look like she was like pushing 100. <laughs> like a max paint pot like i said earlier keep it on so that when you have like darker skin it's thicker than the regular primers for eyeshadow so when you have darker skin colors can show up better on your eyes your eyelids it's weird i have a makeup book i should have shown you guys this from like a like a really famous New York uh, makeup artist. It's called Making Faces or something. And it shows how to hide like scars and stuff. If you do have scars, it's really neat though to see what makeup artists can do. Well, I think I showed you guys the Planet of the Apes makeup that my brother had because he was trying to But um, yeah, it was just amazing to see. It was like, wow. Mm -hmm. I won't press too much on my eyes because I feel like sensitive. I don't like getting makeup in my eyes because, like, one time I, I don't know what I was doing. I think I was taking lip off, maybe. And, uh, thank you for inviting your fans. But, yeah, it, like, I don't know what it was. I think I was using that waterline pencil and I scraped my eye with it or something. Or it got down to, I think it was a jagged kind of edge thing. And it totally, like, hurt for weeks and weeks and weeks, and it was hard to see. Anyhow, what are you saying? I'm sorry. I think I said that I was really tired, so I have no idea what you're trying to say. <laughs> oh, okay, you're welcome. Okay. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm so tired. Okay. Weird. Hi. I'm just gonna make up for like tomorrow just to see. Can you see that?
you gonna go live on your Kiptonic Santa Cup? Okay, well, it was nice talking to you. I hope things go well with your video games. <laughs> If my channel is like really boring today, or I'm sure it's probably boring for a guy to watch <laughs> just because like it's about makeup today. <laughs> I'm just trying a bunch of different stuff so that I can see what I'm gonna wear for tomorrow. A little better. You can still see them really. Like I'm trying to get rid of my bags. You can still probably have to just drink a lot of water or something. That looks like uh, Jean Paul Gaultier. Jean Paul Gaultier. I think it is. Looks very nice, actually. I like it. His favorite designer is Jean-Paul Gaultier. I think he's like cool. Somebody should tell her to flat iron her hair. <laughs> she has like crazy looking red hair. Hey. What's your name? Allie. Allie. Actually, somebody today, it was really weird. I blocked them from my phone, like my last phone, not this new phone. I blocked them a long time ago, maybe like almost a year ago, I think. And today they called me. Somehow they got through. I don't know how. Maybe my set on my phone changed or something, but it was kind of scary. I thought, how on earth did you get through? It was really weird. So maybe the blocking on BlackBerry phones turns off after a certain amount of time. Like it's important that I am able to block people because some people are just crazy. So this is somebody that I told I had a boyfriend. 
and they still called me over and over and over again for like three days in a row, like 10 times a day. Maybe not 10 times, but for like six times a day. I was just like, leave me alone, you know, but I totally blocked them. And we were in the car, I like this is before I knew they were crazy, because we were in the car together, and um, oh, I can't remember where we were going, but the light had turned green, it was like a solid green light, so we were waiting at the light to turn to cross the intersection, and there were these other people in the opposite road, and they had this solid green, but like in order to turn you get like a, a turning light, you know it looks like an arrow or something, so we didn't have the arrow, and he still turned in front of all the traffic. I was like, what the fuck, you know? Those people are going straight, and say they're accelerating, they would have killed us. That's when I decided not to speak to them ever again. And it was crazy. Like, it's not funny. This lipstick actually tastes like bubblegum. I broke it. I like put it through the washing machine and so it's slightly melted. So it's not like a perfect look any but eventually through use I think better. So I'm trying to ignore certain rules that are Right now, reminds me of a doll. But yeah, I was saying I was trying to avoid negative people right now who are just trying to bring me down, and I can't really deal with that. Wow, it's too bright. I wonder if I could like smooth it off. It's like bleeding right there. Not bleeding, but you know when it comes off of your lips, it's like called bleeding. When I try like super red lipstick, maybe I'll do that. Anyhow, it was really weird. Okay, I'm trying to figure out which one I should use out of all of these. There's one called Shy. I'm not going to use any of like the super bright ones, like with like gold tints to them right now, just because it like is hard to take off after. Hi, David. Oh no, there's one called Moon Dust. I like that. Kind of like a sandy kind of look.
I don't know, it looks kind of weird. Oops. <laughs> like, don't get any dust right in my eye. No, I like it. Whatever. I'm like staring at myself going, okay, does that look all right? Mm. This one's gonna be difficult. I might actually go get a lamp or something. I want to actually do this not on camera because I might make a serious lily mistake. So I'll be right back. I'm gonna. Bathroom. <laughs> I don't want it to look bad.
What to cry? <laughs>
cry. What's your name? Maris Healy? I'm going to use this, like, I think I found a really good one for this one. I don't know how to do it. Look at that. That's super dark. Mm-hmm. <laughs>
Thank you. Oh, I missed you. Who was that? Roselle? Rosalia? Yeah. I was trying to watch a video on Anna Winter. In a weird magazine. Yeah. I'm trying to lie down, too. <laughs> hey, Anonymous, what is your name? Hug? Anonymous. Oh, hey, Coop Tony. Good day. I finished my makeup. Yeah, I think I'm gonna wear it like this tomorrow. I'm gonna go take a pic. Oh my gosh, did you get the tree? Oh my gosh, I look like Cinderella from the 1980s. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna take a picture so I can put it on my Snapchat or Instagram. Yeah, I'm actually doing upside down. I'm sitting on it, so don't mind me if I have a little bit. Go watch me on hunow.com, please. Well, it makes my face look fat. Hold on, fat. It makes my face look fat, okay? I can't catch it. There. <laughs> That's my Snapchat, by the way. Someone new every day. Just that it made more sense and it would be easier to stay track. Well, it now says I'm 60 or 61 or something in Girl Rock. I like how my eyes look. I thought these broadcasts would be like more relaxed, like the movie. I thought it would be more interesting. It's kind of boring, just following around Anna Winter.
hey, Peter Smith, thanks for becoming my fan. I didn't even say anything, and you became my fan. <laughs> you missed it. I did all of my makeup on camera today. I was watching this thing about Anna Winter, and she's like the editor-in-chief of Vogue magazine. So if you watch that movie, The Devil Wears Prada, it's basically based on her. Watch my YouTube channel. Here, hold on. I'll put the link in here. The last video is on how to lean a camera and how to like clean lenses and stuff. This is the camera that I was using to do instead of portrait lens on the front. It's obviously a Nikon camera with a Nikon lens. And like the portrait lens is the cheapest lens you can get. Makes me so happy to smell the living. <laughs> That's so funny. I actually like the smell of newsprint. It's weird. Right now they're showing the process of how they make the magazine and how it's printed. There's a Gucci ad on the inside. I don't know, I don't like it very much. There's not like there's a ton of ads like this, like Vinter ads. It's not Vinter. Burberry. I like the makeup. Okay, I've got to change like the video. Just hold on a second. That was really cool, actually. It's called the September issue. D or an I. Top designer, the fashion center leaks away, the pressure is on, and blah 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 blah. There's 13 reasons why I'm not even gonna to watch that. Mm -hmm. There's Black Mirror. I wonder what that's about. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll watch Celebrity Plastic Surgeons of Beverly Hills. That sounds dope. Can I turn on like a stronger light? <coughs> I actually see myself now. I don't know. I might actually do like a YouTube video because I wanted to show this. I'm going to take a picture and put it on Instagram. I want to show this makeup. I don't know, it kind of shows like my age lines around my lips. Like right there. I like it. That's very good though, right? My nose hairstyle. And bob. Then I'll take a picture of it. And I'll look up. I don't know, I'm going to do a video on like the process of doing that. And then I'll do like a 
I'm a little bit late, but it's so compact. I think it Hi, Benjamin Snyder. <laughs> like my crazy makeup. <laughs> so I'm watching this crazy show on plastic surgery, and it's so gross. It's like more of a surgical show, but show, and it shows them sticking the thing in there, and they do a section, and it's just like, yeah. I guess if you don't want to work out, you just get it sucked all in. <laughs> You look great today, lol. Hey. Okay. Is this some sort of weird trick question? I don't want to take some pictures. I got my Ikea catalog for today, and I'm so happy. I thought I'd also still go through my extra large bug magnet, not bug, L magazine. I like going through the ads, so I'm not a first, so I like going through the ads and like looking at, for example, this Prada ad. You just look in the eyes of the model, and you can see the reflection of the source, like the, um, the light. You can see there's two lights, because there's two dots in her pupil. One of them's round, so it's like a beauty dish. I don't know. That's just how you would tell how the photographers did it. Then you have some ads like this one where you can't see at all if she's got anything in her eyes. And that's called having dead eyes. So, like, if you look in the eyes and you don't see a reflection of the light source, then that means that it's either being deleted out or it's just called dead eyes. It's like they're not anywhere near any light. So there's like a big soft box above the room that makes like notify. You can tell in my eyes, you can by the reflection that there's like a light source in front of me and then there's one up here. Hey, Dottie. Cosmic fam. Sorry, I'm just talking about um, how you tell a photo is made in a studio or if it's in like some so basically um, there's two types of, of eyes eyes have no reflection in them and then there's like lit up eyes or bright eyes whatever and it's where you have the reflection of the light source so I was just showing you guys a picture in um, L magazine where it shows that example I'm gonna try to find another that's like a close-up of someone's face oh, here, here so here's a very good example so you look in her eyes, and you see like a circle or a box right next to her pupil. That means that there's one light source that's, I think it's at 45 degrees. It's on one corner of her eyes, so it's like over there. You know what I mean? It's like an opposite. It's like a reflection, right, in a picture. So that's how you can tell the type of light source that's being used in the picture. And it looks like there's also a light above her because you can see her face is like shining and it's reflecting the light that's um, above her. So there's a light going like this and there's a light going like this above her. I don't know, it's really cool to know where the light source is so you can not copy somebody else's photo, but you can see how they made it and improve your own photography. That's basically why I like getting these. Look at this. Kendall Jenner's here. This is a good example of an outdoor picture. You can see basically everything reflected in her eyes. It's not quite dead eyes, but it's an outdoor picture where they're using reflection. Hi, James. I don't know, I can't find anything that's like super, super standing out right now. I think that I'm going to like do a bunch of headshots of myself this week. 
and then put them together in collage or something and put it on my blog. Or, like, next week I might do a casting call, and that's when you, like, call out for models and, like, makeup artists and stuff like that. So here's another really good example of what I was talking about. So she's got that circle in her eye. You can see the circle in her eye. It shows, like, it's basically the exact opposite. It's like a, a mirror of where the light source is. So she, she's in a studio. She's not outside. She's in a big white room with, like, maybe two lights around. So I'll make believe. Sometimes you can use like, Photoshop to put that in, but it's best not to. It's just, you just use, like, an actual kind of thing. I think it's their clothes. This one's a good example of dead eyes. Usually when they're doing like um, zombie pictures and like you want to show black and white pictures, the old ones, those are like dead eyes. This is a good one for Jibashi. Example of lit up eyes as well. Because you can see it's a beauty dish that they're using. It's it. So it's perfectly... If you look into her eyes, it's perpendicular. But what it is, it's like a circular lamp, like this, that they put exactly straight in front of you, like at eye height. And then the camera is located right underneath the bottom of the dish. So the dish is here, the camera is here, facing like that, and then they take the picture. And it's attached with this cord. I have one in there. Um, it's like a, almost like a flash thing cord, but it's plugged into like the front of the camera. And then you, know, you take your picture and instead of the flash on the camera going off, the light goes off. So that's why it's like straight. Like you can see if I do it here, I can kind of mimic it. It's at the top of my pupil. That's because the light source is above <laughs> where the camera is taking the picture. Anyhow, that's how they achieve this. Right? Because, like, without that, you'd think, like, oh, my gosh, there's something wrong with the picture. Your eyes aren't working. I love this ad. So this is, like, my number one ad here because it's an Adidas ad. I was talking about it yesterday. Please go visit my YouTube channel and my... Instagram. Actually, there's a picture that I wanted to put up today. Um, I'm going to do on YouTube about this makeup that I did today. I'm going to take a picture and put it on my Instagram. Sorry, I'm having one of those crazy days where like you take off a hat and your hair goes all nuts. I brushed my hair, but now it's all like messed up all over the place. It looks like a weird thing. It looks like I'm inside. <laughs> Anyhow, yeah. Hey, Marcus. Um, where did I show you this? Oh, if you weren't here before, so this is what I did today. I took pictures and video at a triathlon. That's people getting ready to like swim in the pool. Right. I couldn't get too close. That's what I did today, and like I said, I sorry, those are more people in the transition area. So I took pictures of this ninety-year-old lady who literally looks like she's seventy. She doesn't look like she's ninety. It's crazy. Not her. It's crazy that she doesn't look like she's ninety. We're nearly a hundred years old. So I do that today. That was pretty cool. Some old people are really interesting. Like they have total jokes to her. I wish I had one more thing I wanted to show you. Oh, so I just put up this picture on the treadmill the other day. Oops. Sorry, this is like a 
I did. Okay. I wonder if I can switch to red. I don't know if I can switch to red. I thought I could, but now I don't know. I don't know how to rotate things. Okay, so I'll just show you the structure of the trouble. My new shoes. It makes like the tops of my legs look so fat. <laughs> but yeah, I'm not on the treadmill today. I'm trying to like take a little break. I'm trying to take a tiny little break because I'm like really, really, really tired. I still have to write like two new stories and I don't know a bunch of pictures tomorrow morning. So I'm gonna get up super early and go to work early, 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 early so I can get my pictures done and all my stories done. And I'm gonna take a nap after this breath is over when I reach two hours. It says I'm 57 finger owns. I thought it was like 50 or something. It'd be great if I could get under 50. I don't think there are a lot of people on right now. So yeah, I'm going to check my Instagram, then I'm going to have something else to eat because I'm starving still. And I might walk around on the treadmill or something. I think I still have like 5,000 steps even though I didn't do a workout. Hey, Sunny. Let's see. I have 4,599 steps even though I didn't do a workout. Usually I get like 11,000 steps. I'm not going to do that though. And I'm going to do my face mask today. I'm gonna do a YouTube video <laughs> in a second about like makeup and like the makeup that I'm wearing right now. Usually I don't wear like black lipstick, but this one's like a dark, um, what is it, raspberry? I can't remember what it's called. Yep. I'm watching a plastic surgery show. Oh, I'm like really cold and like today, like work today even though it's Sunday and talked to a whole bunch of people and a bunch of people were calling me while I was trying to write stories. I wrote like 10 stories so I still have like three more to go. <laughs> like new stories I mean. I'm gonna like not smudge my makeup. I still haven't taken the picture yet. This movie about Anna Winter, not like The Devil Wears Prada, another one that was on Netflix. Please find me up here on you now um, and go visit my YouTube channel. But I also like follow people on Instagram and so I'll follow you back on Instagram. Just hold on. I'm supposed to take a picture today but I haven't done it. I just did like the workout picture. That's my Instagram. Or you can follow me on Snapchat too. You should take a crazy Snapchat video. <laughs> okay, hold on. Oh. I am way on you now. Oh. <laughs> That's crazy. I look, look like, what is that? Is it heart? No. Oh, do you have some heart? It was so crazy, man. I was listening to it and I thought, that would drive me insane if I had to hear that over and over again. I don't want to see.
How do I get out of it? I was like, how do I get out of it? I want to watch all these crazy things. I was so annoyed that people were falling like crazy today. I'm gonna like do a bit apology because I don't think. Let me see if I've done one in a while. No, I haven't done one in a while. I'll put it on my Insta. Mm -hmm. Oh, this one's cute. Look at that one. Spa Sunday. I love Snapchat. I'm not sending it to any other people. Weird. I only sent it to like two two people. Look for trending. kind of weird. <laughs> oh, this is a good one. There's a lot of church today. Try bombing. You shouldn't do that. People may think I'm sick or something. This is how I feel. <laughs> I'm not even gonna like post anything with it. I'm just gonna like post it with no like story. You see that? Somebody liked it already. Good. Anyhow, yeah. I didn't even notice we're like 10 minutes. We're like 10 minutes away from a two hour broadcast. I didn't even notice. I'd love to do what uh, Masta, Miss Masta Cosmic Fan did and have like a 24 hour broadcast, but I don't think I'd survive if I tried to do that. Because I'd be like way too tired. Too bad you can't tell while you're on your broadcast. Oh, you can. It doesn't say like how you level up or if you can level up. I have a certain number of followers. A certain number of gods. Probably 
Essential oils. I don't know what they use. Well, I'm gonna do that actually during this practice, just because I'm like kind of too tired. Like how bright it is. Look at this one. I'm super tired. I'm still using vanilla grape juice. I'll use different ones on the next podcast. It's just because I'm wired right now. I'm not feeling that. Excuse me. Like I said, I was going to have a nap. The rest of them are like typed up and they're not like they're not like perfect yet. I only have like ten minutes left. I'm trying to like it only lets you put like a drop at a time. It smells so good. I wish you could smell them. They're like grapefruit, but sweet. I'm gonna turn off the big lights and turn on the little lights and I'm trying to put as much oil in here as possible because I want to cook all of the time and I'll try to turn off all the lights so you can see how nice it is it's like really nice in here okay I'm gonna turn off the lights and I'll turn this around so that you can see it Isn't it nice? Okay, so I just wanted to show you the essential oils that I carried in here. They were so cute. I really like this one. No, I think it was like super cheap to buy. I think it was like maybe like forty dollars or something. You can see the oil on the thing. And this lasted forever. You just have to not touch it. It's not so hot. It heats up really quickly, so I would not usually touch the glass when I did. It's like a little pissed off. Where he's like the doctor and I get very bored too. Like instead of like packaging it up and doing the troubleshoot, he's that idiot. It's weird. Captured that one section.
the boys. It's sad, but you're already sad. That's really sad, actually. She's right, though. It's a power. She's right, actually, though. We have time to play Thieves with that kid. It's like six months. We have time to like just hang out. Hang out with his little like the little like I like eyelashes are getting stuck in my eyes. I'm like. So I think I'm actually going to go and look at the journals for a little bit and just to give me a couple nuggets while I read all of the crazy So I'm burning some incense. Hey, I'm burning some incense right now. And it's like making the whole room smell. I was taking a picture for my Instagram of the incense burner. So hot. It's super hot, so I don't want to like burn myself. I'm just like, oh my god. So hold on. This is like the before picture before I do any editing. <laughs> hey, Dana and I. Hey. Oh, it was? Did you just finish doing your broadcast? <laughs> That's cool. I'm trying to like save it as much as I can. It's gonna be a long video. I'm gonna try to get my phone to like 
here's a picture I just took of myself. And then I'm going to do like the black messaging. Actually makes the lipstick show up fairly well. 338 people? Wow, 12,000. That's amazing. That is amazing. That is really amazing. Anyhow, sorry. <laughs> this is a picture that I just took that I was away taking. It's pretty cool. It, it showed up really well with its cell phone. That's really awesome. 338 people? How long is your broadcast? That's amazing. That's so lit. <laughs> That's so lit. 30 minutes? That's crazy. Oh, I wish I had seen that. That would have been really cool. Oh. Man, I'd kill for that. That is really cool. I'm not going to stay on here too much longer. It's been like almost two hours now, but that's so cool. That is really, really, really cool. I'm watching a show on plastic surgery. <laughs> it's kind of weird. I'd never get plastic surgery. I don't think so. When I was in college once, this one girl told me to, like, get a surgery on my chest. And I was like, why should I? <laughs> it was really weird. Yeah. Oh, okay, for an hour. Yeah, that's really, really awesome, actually. It's too bad I can't say, yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, I can, actually. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that is really neat, actually. I, I did a new video on YouTube last night, and tonight I'm going to do the video, after I post these pictures on Instagram, I'm going to do like a quick vlog video on how I did my makeup and some of the new makeup that I used. You're going live? Okay, well, I'm going to get off of here, and then I'll go watch this. So, thank you to everybody that gave me likes, who shared, or who um, became my fan today. I'll be on tomorrow, probably at like 5 o'clock-ish. So I'll see you guys later. I'm now going to go watch Dana Nuts.